The 44th annual WIAA State Boys Hockey Tournament got underway Thursday at the Dane County Coliseum, and for the third year in a row, the Verona Wildcats were a part of the festivities. And the Wildcats strike first 10:43 into the first period. That's Phil Fromberger with the power play goal off the helper from Brogan Baker, and Verona's up 1-0. Phil, you know, has some great presence up on that uh, blue line and shoots the puck well. And uh, we were able to work it around, and he got the puck through and slipped in the net. So, uh, I mean, it was a huge jump to our team, and it's very exciting to pop that first, first goal. It's kind of like we all got the confidence and stuff, and then popped that one quick in the second. That was huge. Everybody's getting up and getting going. Verona gets a big game between the pipes from sophomore Alex Jones. He had 22 saves on the afternoon including several big ones during the second period when Superior threatened to tie the game. But Verona gets a big goal from senior captain Charlie Parker 53 seconds into the second period. That gives the Wildcats a two-goal lead. Uh, puck got chipped up. Uh, I can't remember who did it. I think it was uh, Philippe Romberger or Pat Stevens. Uh, chipped the puck up the wall and... Uh, Landed right by my feet, I picked it up, uh, was able to drive wide around the defenseman and flipped it through the goalie's five hole. Uh, I mean, it was, a, it was a great play by the defenseman to get the puck up. It was a perfect chip, and uh, you know, I just kind of skated around and was able to sneak it through. So, yeah. In the second period, they had about a two-minute wave. It felt like we couldn't get out of the zone, and all of a sudden we catch a break, come down, and then we net one. That uh, kind of changed our, our mentality a little bit. We kind of got up on the bench, and then we scored not too long later. On some uh, after a wave of pressure on their side, so we uh, you know kind of waited our opportunities tonight. To kind of watch them; they're a good skating team. Uh, they kind of impressed uh, a lot of people, I think, here today, just because they don't have the best record, but they're a good hockey team. Verona celebrates another goal in the second period. This one from Brogan Baker, making it a three nothing game. It proved to be a big one for the Wildcats after Parker took a checking from behind penalty late in the second period. That put Superior on the power play for the final seconds of the second period and the first minute and a half of the third period with Parker sitting in the penalty box. Fortunately for the Wildcats, Jones was up to the task in the net. He finishes off the shutout performance for Verona and the Wildcats are off to the state semifinals. I think you would get a shutout tonight against a team like Superior. I mean, I know the record isn't great, but uh, they can obviously skate. Absolutely not. They had a lot of good shooters out there. And uh, like I said, uh, thanks to the B, you know, I really come to with them. Next up for the second-ranked Wildcats, a showdown with top-ranked Green Bay Notre Dame at 6 o'clock Friday night. If, if it is another Verona-Notre Dame matchup, how, do you, how does it change this year, you having beaten them before and played them tough again this year? Yeah, I don't know whose favorite it falls on. Obviously, it gives our guys that whole belief that we can take down that number one at the same time. It gives them that little edge that it's not going to happen again. So we'll see. It, it, you know, Either way, between these two teams, they're both playing really well right now. So hopefully our guys have the confidence, knowing that it's a possibility like it was last year to, uh, to come in and always a little upset. 